during Sam Week. It was Sea Salt and Missions. Um, and I had a guy in my Bible study, a student who um, was just very easy to talk to, very um, encouraging. Um, and we really kind of formed a, a quick friendship, uh, me and this person. And I just knew that there was something going on in his life, though. Um, and I'd been praying for him all week. Um, and Thursday night, he came down to me, and he just said, Michael, um, I'm not a Christian, and I want to be one. I don't know what to do, um, but I know that I want to be a Christian, and I want to follow Christ. I don't know what that means, but it's something that I want. Will you come talk with me? And we had an awesome discussion um, and was able to lead him to the Lord. Praise the Lord. It was just an awesome experience. A really, a really incredible moment. One of my most memorable moments this summer um, was probably the first week. It was my first week being a staff forever. And um, I sat down with a girl in my Bible study group named Katarina and talked to her. And um, we ended up actually bonding through a mutual love of Harry Potter. Um, <laughs> and we talked about that the entire time at dinner. And that ended up bringing us to get to know each other and she ended up coming to Christ um, at the end of the week which was awesome. Um, my most memorable moment, um, I have to say one was definitely playing ultimate frisbee in the sprinklers. That was incredible and definitely a memory I'll take with me for a long time. And also just getting together in the green room and just being able to pray for each other, the staff members, our families, I mean for the campers coming. Um, I'll never forget just the bonding that happens through prayer and through talking to our Savior together. One of the more memorable moments I experienced was probably the first time we rehearsed um, for rec demonstrations for the staffers, moving through the games. Um, I got I get ultra competitive and I have a tendency to overreact just a little bit when I start to lose and so we were playing shark attack and um, Lindsay was wearing pants and I thought that she was cheating because I hit her but in fact she just didn't feel the shark on her leg and so I yelled at her and then she yelled at me and then it was good to go. Um, and then I think that same night I was chasing Michael around the circle um, playing shark attack and I he slipped on some noodles and I was chasing him and I didn't have time to stop and I like jumped over his head, supermaned, and landed between his shoulder and his neck and I think my foot landed on his earlobe. Um, but that was better than, you know, paralyzing him for life. Um, so uh, that, was, uh, that was a really, really memorable moment for me. And um, it really just taught me the value of understanding how other people are and understanding that not everybody necessarily likes to compete, even though I do. So yeah. I specifically remember one, one moment this summer that a student came up to me and told me basically some stuff that they were going through and things that um, really my, one of my characters that I played during the week they could directly identify with. And for me, that was huge to see how the Lord worked and moved in a way um, that I might not have initially expected to see that he um, worked in that way was really huge for me to see how he had turned something um, as small as maybe one or two lines in a play into something that connected instantly with a student.